था शिवलिंग का मतलब क्या है व्हाट्स इट मीनिंग ऑफ शिवलिंग व्हाई इज इट सो इंपॉर्टेंट एनीबडी में आज अरे इतना बड़ा कॉरिडोर बन गया है अभी आपको वही जगह क्यों चाहिए व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द स्पॉट बिकॉज हिंदूज ने गेव अप ऑन द काशी विश्वनाथ साइट एनीबडी हु डाइज इन काशी द सोल द वंस इट कम्स आउट तारक राम मंत्र इस स्नान करते हैं तब जो उनकी आंखों से अश्रुपात दैट इज समथिंग विच आई कैनोट डिस्क्राइब इन वर्ड फ्रॉम वॉट आई नो सम ऑफ द वेरी बिग ने हिस्ट्री टूडे दे डोंट नो दरिजिनल लैंग्वेजेस इन द नेहरूवियन टाइम्स इंदिरा गांधी टाइम्स it was not possible for the nationalist school to emerge because people paid a very heavy price those hmm. days if you opposed the governments thekedar ab bahut kam bache hain ki hum hi hain itihas ke thekedar ki hum jo bolenge wahi sach hai by dominic lapierre and larry collins right. uh, the french and us so called historians they made such a bold claim about savarkar and i want to talk about it nathuram godse was a homosexual and his partner was veer savarkar yes yeah uh, escapades and what happens in someone's bedroom is there for personal matter and these kind of you know false these things to do character assassination of a important Great nationalist i don't understand the rationale at all argue with the man on what he writes na uh, drive karke the plan was ye jump maar ke wahan se tair ke aayenge and there will be a place where they will come in a gaadi frisk him away and take him away hmm. now in uh, bollywood uh, you know turn of events they come late इंडियन सोसाइटी में इतने सारे बदलाव एक साथ अपनाना लोगों के लिए मुश्किल है आई थिंक गांधी अंडरस्टूड दैट जो भी वॉर के बारे में हम लोग पढ़ते हैं वो सारे ऐसे हैं जहां भारत और भारतीय हारे हैं नाउ फाइव क्विक क्वेश्चन आई रेडी करण जौहर स्टाइल ओके नमा बेंगलुरु और अमची मुंबई अरे बाप रे आप मरवाएंगे हमको न उधर करेंगे ना इधर के रहेंगे नमा स्वागत है मित्रों आपका आज हमारे तीसरे कोष सत्र में आज हमारे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं एक अति विशिष्ट अतिथि डॉक्टर विक्रम संपत आप एक इतिहास वेदता हैं आपने वीर सावरकर पर दो महत्वपूर्ण पुस्तकें लिखी हैं ब्रेव हार्ट्स ऑफ भारत भी आपकी एक अद्भुत पुस्तक है जिसका कई भाषाओं में अनुवाद हो चुका है और आपकी नवीनतम पुस्तक है वेटिंग फॉर शिवा जो ज्ञान पर लिखी गई है आप न केवल एक इतिहास वेदता हैं आप एक संगीतज्ञ हैं संगीत पर आपकी अनेक पुस्तकें हैं आप पिट्स पिलानी से पढ़े हैं उसके पश्चात आपने एस पी जैन से प्रबंधन में मैनेजमेंट में शिक्षा प्राप्त की है और फिर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ क्वींसलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया से आपने पीएचडी की उपाधि प्राप्त की है आपका जीवन कॉपोरेट जगत में रहा है और आजकल आप एक लेखक के रूप में विश्व प्रसिद्ध हैं स्वागत है आपका विक्रम संपत जी नमस्ते थैंक यू नित्यानंद जी एंड वी वुड फर्स्ट लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट योर लेटेस्ट forthcoming book <laughs> your your newest book yeah and this is the book waiting for shiva by dr vikram sampath unearthing the truth of kashi gyanavapi so why don't we start by talking about your latest creation bilkul such a pleasure i've been a admirer of yours for so long and it's very surreal that i'm finally meeting you and also sitting with you to talk about सो मैनी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स ये वाली किताब जो है वेटिंग फॉर शिवा ये बाई सेरेंड पिटी इट हैपेंड एक लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल में मैं विष्णु शंकर जैन जी से मिला था और जैसा आप लोग आप सभी जानते हैं कि विष्णु जी और उनके जो पिताजी हैं हरिशंकर जैन जी जिस तरह से उन्होंने काशी और मथुरा और बाकी बहुत सारे जो हमारे सीक्रेट स्पॉट्स हैं उनके लिबरेशन के लिए जिस तरह लीगल प्रोसीजर से जो जो काम किए हैं आई थिंक दैट इज अतुल्य है वो कि किसी और ने ऐसा किया ही नहीं शायद इस देश में और विष्णु जी और मैं ओवर डिनर इट वाज अ कैजुअल कॉन्वर्जेशन और वो बता रहे थे सो मच ऑफ पैशन दैट यू नो दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ काशी एंड द विश्वनाथ मंदिर एंड ज्ञान वापी एंड ही वॉज देर वॉज अ टेंज ऑफ सैडनेस कि लोगों को इसके बारे में पता नहीं है अब अयोध्या का जो मामला था बिकॉज ऑफ द राम जन्मभूमि मूवमेंट आई थिंक जनमानस में उसके बारे में काफ़ी इंफॉर्मेशन uh, uh, लोगों तक पहुंच गई थी पर काशी में क्या है अभी रोज़ हम इसको देखते रहते हैं 
न्यूज चैनल्स में और न्यूज पेपर्स में अभी व्यास जी का जो तहखाना है वहाँ पूजा शुरू हो गई है वो शिवलिंग जो वजू खाने से शिवलिंग नुमा एक आकार मिला है तो ये सारी चीज़ें लोग देखते हैं सुनते हैं पर उसका क्या बैकग्राउंड है उसका क्या हिस्ट्री है किसी को मालूम नहीं है तो उन्होंने ऐसे कैजुअली मुझसे पूछा कि क्या आप एक इतिहासकार के नाते इसके बारे में लिखेंगे तो शायद लोगों तक पहुँचेगी ये बात तो झट से मैंने हाँ बोल दिया पता नहीं था वॉट आई वॉज गेटिंग इन टू बट एंड इट वॉज अ फास्टेस्ट बुक आई हैवर डन आई थिंक इन द लास्ट सिक्स बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड इट टू कम आउट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल कितना कितना समय लग गया छः महीने के अंदर टू फिनिश दिस सो आई थिंक महादेव ओनली यू नो केम एंड गेव सम प्रेरणा बिकॉज रोज तीन बजे चार बजे तक uh, काम में निरत रहा मैं और आई डेंट वॉन्टेड टू जस्ट बिकम अ लीगल बोरिंग लीगलीज तो पौराणिक कथाएं जो हैं शिव पुराण लिंग पुराण पद्म पुराण ब्रह्म वैवर्त पुराण और उसमें जो स्कंद पुराण के जो परिशिष्ट हैं जैसे काशी खंड और काशी रहस्य जो है तो उसके जो यू नो एक्सर्प्ट एंड देन ऑल्सो संस्कृत के इतने सारे जो निबंध थे राइट फ्रॉम द लेवेंथ सेंचुरी यू हैड लक्ष्मीधर हु रोड कृत्य कल्पतरु एंड देन नारायण भट्ट का जो त्रिस्थली सेतु वाचस्पति मिश्रा हु रोट तीर्थ चिंतामणि देन मित्र मिश्रा तीर्थ प्रकाश और फिर मराठी साहित्य में भी गुरु चरित्र उसमें भी काशी का वर्णन इतना ज्यादा है और फिर तेलुगु में श्रीनाथा जो एक पोएट थे तेलुगु के उन्होंने काशी खंड को तेलुगु में अनुवादित किया था तो वी टॉक टूडे ऑफ नॉर्थ साउथ डिवाइड एंड दिस एंड दैट तो राइट फ्रॉम देन दो काशी इज लोकेटेड इन यूनाइटेड प्रोविंस उत्तर प्रदेश बट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस वॉज नॉट लिमिटेड ओनली टू दैट स्पॉट द एंटायर इंडिया कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू इट्स रिज्यूमिनेशन एंड रिसरेक्शन एंड लिबरेशन बिकॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम इट वॉज डेमोलिश्ड वॉज इन लेवन नाइनटी फोर बाई कुतुबुद्दीन एबक तब से लेके वी थिंक ओनली औरंगजेब डिड इट बट दे वर सक्सेसिव वेव लेवन नाइन्टी फोर में कुतुबुद्दीन एबक दिन रजिया सुल्तान दैन अलाउद्दीन खिलजी दिन द जौनपुर के शारकी नवाब दैन सिकंदर लोदी और बाद में आके लास्ट इन द सीरीज वॉज और निकोलो मनुची जो इटालियन वेनिशियन ट्रेवलर थे उनका उनके अकाउंट पीटर मंडी नाम के एक ब्रिटिश फैक्टर हिज यू नो आंखों देखा हाल ऑफ वॉट काशी विश्वनाथ मंदिर वॉज देन एक फ्रेंच ट्रैवलर को जॉ बैप्टिस तवर्नियर हिज अकाउंट्स आई ट्राई टू पुट ऑल ऑफ दिस टुगेदर इन वन प्लेस एंड नित्यानंद जी आई थिंक वेन योर इंटेंट इज राइट आई थिंक द वे द हेल्प मैनिफेस्ट फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्स आई थिंक इट इज इट समथिंग दैट आई हैव ऑलवेज नोटिस्ड यहाँ भी आई वॉज वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट श्रृंगेरी संस्थान के जो मूल पीठ है कुडली महासंस्थान वहाँ के जो जगत गुरु शंकराचार्य जी हैं रेवियर्ड श्री श्री अभिनव भारती जी ही गॉट इन टच विथ मी ऐसे थ्रू सोशल मीडिया and he got to know i'm doing this on kashi so he sat with me for hours to explain some of these things including unhone kaha ki shivling ka matlab kya hai what's the right. esoteric meaning of shivling uh, is it phallus worship as is uh, you know uh, derived from right. yes. yeah so uh, a lot of that stuff which is i mean i try to it's a book on history so it can't uh, get into details of all of that what do the agama shastras talk about how uh, shiv mandir had to be constructed why is that sthal ka mahatma kya hai hum hamari jo sanatan dharm mein why is it so important anybody may ask are itna bada corridor ban gaya hai abhi aapko wahi jagah kyun chahiye what is the importance of the spot so what do the agama texts say about that so it was piecing together all these very very multifarious uh, you know documents from various eras various languages and then of course the legal case because hindus never gave up on the kashi vishwanath site right from 1810 there were bloody riots in varanasi to uh, get back uh you know this place 1810 mein the uh, masjid was even uh, set on fire and uh, uh, the british had initially uh, you know uh, ruled that the muslims should be completely evacuated from the masjid because this is such an important spot for the uh, hindus so it was a long journey and up to the present time when the asi report came 800 panne ka report hai usme i think after that there is no scope for any other doubt 
एंड हाथ कंगन को आरसी क्या है एनीबडी हु गोज देयर वेस्टर्न वॉल्स के जो खंडहर देखेंगे इट्स ऑल द सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी टेम्पल विच वॉज बिल्ट बाय राजा तोडरमल विथ नारायण भट्ट इंस्पिरेशन तो इट वॉज आई थिंक कलेक्ट इट वॉज अ जर्नी ऑफ डिस्कवरी फॉर मी एंड डीलिंग विथ सो मेनी लैंग्वेजेज सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड ऑल्सो फीलिंग दैट यू नो योर पार्ट ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मूवमेंट दैट इज करेंटली हैपनिंग इन इंडिया विच इज टू लिबरेट काशी विश्वनाथ फ्रॉम द क्लचेज ऑफ वॉट एवर इट्स बीन हेल्ड अंडर विश्वनाथ जी गिव्स लिबरेशन टू एवरीबडी इन द स्कंद पुराण इन द काशी खंड ही प्रोमिस देवी पार्वती को वो कहते हैं कि एनी बडी हु डाइज इन काशी द सोल द वंस इट कम्स आउट तारक राम मंत्र इज डिस्कर्ड इन टू द ईयर्स बाय शिव जी हिमसेल्फ एंड दैट्स हाउ द सोल गेट्स लिबरेशन तो हम लोग अगर निमित्त मात्र बन के उनका जो मंदिर है सबसे प्रमुख मंदिर उसके लिए कुछ काम आ पाए तो आई थिंक उससे बड़ी बड़ा सौभाग्य क्या हो सकेगा तो दैट इज हाउ दिस बुक सेरेंडिपिटसली केम अप एंड लेट्स सी इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी आउट इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी तो शुड सी हाउ द शिव भक्त एंड द डिवाउट एक्चुअली लुक एट दिस न्यू ऑफरिंग ऑफ माई आपने बहुत ठीक बोला काशी का महत्व तो प्रत्येक सनातनी और प्रत्येक भारतीय के मन में है आपके ही राज्य में जो नंज गुंडेश्वर में मंदिर है हाँ तो दक्षिण काशी कहा जाता है एक उत्तराखंड में स्थान जिसे उत्तर काशी कहा जाता है तो जब उत्तर काशी और दक्षिण काशी कहा गया इसका अर्थ है मूल काशी है जिसका महत्व है तभी किसी स्थान को दक्षिण और अन्य स्थानों को भी दक्षिण काशी कहा जाता है काशी में आप जाए तो आप तो गए होंगे आपको पूरा भारत वहां मिल जाएगा इट्स अ माइक्रोकॉजम ऑफ एंटायर इंडिया व्हेन आई वेंट टू काशी आई सॉ बोर्ड्स इन तेलुगु बोर्ड्स इन टिबेटन बोर्ड्स इन कनाडा गुजराती तमिल एंड आई सॉ पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया कन्वर्स टू काशी और वहां गंगा जी में जब काशी में स्नान करते हैं तब जो उनकी आंखों से अश्रुपात होता है दैट इज समथिंग विच आई कैन नॉट डिस्क्राइब इन वर्ड पीपल फील दैट यू नो अद्य में सफलम जीवनम टुडे माय माय लाइफ इज फुलफिल्ड टुडे आई हैव गॉट द फ्रूट ऑफ मेनी बर्ड्स दैट आई एम विटनेसिंग द वाटर्स ऑफ गंगा एट काशी दैट इज हाउ सनातन भारतीय फील्स एंड वीट नॉर्थ और साउथ इट्स ऑफ ईस्ट और वेस्ट एवरीबडी हैज काशी इन द हार्ट्स एंड सो सो गोज फॉर वीट अयोध्या और वृंदावन और any other sacred spot that Mathura. we have in the country mm-hmm. so prayag prayag Praya. Praya. yes or in fact in kashi uh, since you mentioned north south east west uh, when uh, 1194 ebak destroyed it uh, within hardly 10 15 years 1212 uh, ce mein uh, bangal ke ek raja sen sena vansh ke jo raja the mm. uh, vishwarupa तो ही गोज टू काशी एंड वहाँ पे एक बड़ा सा स्तंभ इरेक्ट कर देते हैं hmm. वहाँ अभी भी आई मीन द सल्तनत वॉज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग सो ही कुड नॉट गेट अ टेम्पल कंस्ट्रक्टेड बट एक प्रतिरूप के तरह से एक स्तंभ वहाँ पे ही इरेक्ट्स एंड ऑन दैट ही इट इज रिटर्न दैट दिस सिटी बिलोंग्स टू विश्वेश्वर सो रिक्लेमेशन वॉज सो क्विक तो हर बार वो कुछ तोड़े आतताई उसके आजू बाजू में फिर से एक और नया श्राइन वुड कम अप uh so and then in 12 60 or 70 uh, you had a gujarati businessman hmm. uh, called uh, seth vastupal who gave about 1 lakh rupees in those days uh, to reconstruct a bhavya vishwanath mandir ka uh, punarnirman ke liye unhone paise diye the aur aur rochak baat ye hai ki my state karnataka uh, today i mean the political climate there is so bad and people are talking about north ke liye hum paise nahi denge ye nahi, hamara tax and all that those days uh, you know the hoysala ruler वीर नरसिम्हा द थर्ड उस जमाने में आई मीन द होसला किंगडम वॉज इन इट्स फाइनल स्टेज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंटरनल टर्मोइल उसके बावजूद वीर नरसिम्हा एक्चुअली गिव्स अवे वन एंटायर विलेज कॉल्ड हेब्बाले सो दैट ऑल द रेवेन्यू दैट केम फ्रॉम दैट विलेज कैन बी यूज बाय पिलग्रिम्स टू पे द जिजिया टैक्स विच द हिंदूज हैड टू गिव टू द इस्लामिक रूलर्स टू गो टू काशी 
and uh, the i found a inscription of uh, veera narasimha which says this village has been donated so that all the proceeds can go to the lotus feet of vishveshwara and this is my contribution to my citizens who can go and pay obeisance on my behalf mm, i'll also have some punya coming out of that and as i said guru charitra which is the dattatreya sampradaya ka jo bahut uh, important in marathi there uh, you know uh, there are there's a lot of reference to kashi a lot of maharashtrian brahmins uh, when kashi uh, you know uh, had demolitions and all the temples uh, uh, you know went in ruins uh, just in the first invasion qutubuddin aibak ke zamane mein hasan nizami one of the chroniclers says thousand temples were destroyed in kashi and the amount of wealth Uh, on 18 camels and 300 elephants pe laad ke sara sona chandi sab kuch leke gaye the and the place fell in disuse it was a seat of sanskrit scholarship so all the sanskrit scholars started migrating to south india and other safer places to create this renaissance and uh, resurrection the maharashtrian brahmin families shesha bhatta dharmadi kari ek teen char aise uh, vansh jo the they went and stayed in kashi facing all the onslaughts and that is how the new literature started coming up in sanskrit to bring back the consciousness of kashi and its importance uh, and say and those parishishtas uh, to the earlier puranas came then kashi rahasya ho ya kashi hmm. khand ho to kind of create an archive pata nahi next uh, wave of invasion kahan hoga there was a such a moving uh, passage in what narayan bhat uh, you know writes in tristhali setu uh, he gives a uh, you know advice to the devout he says uh, uh, you know don't feel disheartened that ma- your the, the shivling is not there uh, under the dushtam lechadi raja so the <laughs> you know <laughs> the, under their uh, this one the, the wicked uh, muslim uh, rulers uh, if the linga has been demolished don't worry don't fret Uh, by the fact that our Mahadev वहाँ से उद्भव हुए हैं स्वयंभु ज्योतिर्लिंग था वो दैट स्पेस इट सेल्फ इज सो सीक्रेट तो इवन इफ देर इज नो लिंग यू अज्यूम इमेजिन दैट देर इज अ लिंग गो एवरी डे टू द गंगा जी ब्रिंग सम वाटर वहाँ पर आप पानी डालो उसके परिक्रमा करो जो नित्य कर्म है जो करना है पूजा वो छुप छुप के आप करो अगर द सोल्जर्स आर लुकिंग ऑल्सो क्वाइटली यू गो एंड पुट वाटर मे बी जल अभी दुग्धाभिषेक वो सब नहीं हो पाएगा या फिर फूल पत्ती अगर डाल सकते हो जगह पे तो डालो नहीं तो जस्ट वाटर एंड सरकम एम्बुलेशन दैट इज इनफ फॉर नाउ एंड महादेव फिर से उनका उद्भव जरूर होगा ये मन में विश्वास रख के तुम रोज जाओ ऐसा नारायण भट्ट राइट्स इन दैट एंड दैट्स लाइक एन एडवाइस टू एवरीबडी यू नो दैट इवन अंडर द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट सर्कमस्टांसिस यू नो कीप योर फेथ एंड टुडे व्हेन द एएसआई रिपोर्ट केम एज यू नो दे वर इंस्क्रिप्शंस राइट फ्रॉम द ट्वेल्थ एंड थर्टीन सेंचुरीज इन ऑल लैंग्वेजेस वाज नॉट हाँ देवनागरी ओनली बट तमिल एंड तेलुगु एंड कन्नडा एंड ऑल साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेज वॉट डज दैट इवन यू नो स्टेट एंड वी से वी आर नॉट वन नेशन Uh, we say we are we were made a nation by the british so why would it matter to veera narasimha sitting in hoysala uh, you know in karnataka uh, hoysala ruler kashi mein mandir hai ya nahi mujhe kya fark padta hai why should i give uh, one village uh, to the pilgrims that very that itself showed that there was an emotional connect across the country uh, which uh, people i think do not understand that uh, nation state and nation are i think two very different uh you know concepts not necessarily True. defined by common boundaries and uh, codified laws but that common emotional connect and a civilizational bequest that you have i think that is what defines a nation which we call bharatiyata bharatiyata yes right uh so when you write these books for example i have read parts of your book on savarkar which is here <clears throat> uh the first part especially I see that you go into the original languages. आप मूल मराठी स्रोतों पे आप जाते हैं और उनका अनुवाद करके अपना विषय प्रस्तुत करते हैं. Waiting for Shiva, you've read so many Sanskrit sources. Yes. With the help of the Shankar Acharya. Yes. You mentioned Persian. Yeah. As a as a historian, don't you feel that the eminent historians in this country? <laughs> why don't they make such efforts because from what i know some of the very big names in history today they don't know the original languages yeah. and they can't they don't even acknowledge it they don't even take any help for it yeah 
So in this country, you can be a historian without knowing Sanskrit or in Persian. Prakrit, Pali, <laughs> so, <laughs> Sen Tamil. Uh, uh, what do you feel about this and why is this so that this has gone unchallenged for so many years? That is true. Uh, I mean, why is it so? There is certainly uh, an agenda that uh, it's not an innocent attempt that, you know, they, they don't make an attempt to uh, learn this or at least take help. Uh, everybody cannot learn every language. I mean, I just have splattering knowledge of these. So, I I, um, I would like to, you know, um, have uh, help from people who are scholars. For me to learn all these languages, it will take a couple of lifetimes perhaps. So, uh, but if you limit your, especially historical research only to English uh, and the translations, then I think there's just a 250-300 uh, year window uh, that you're looking at your past in. Whereas all the, the 5,000 years, you're looking through a keyhole, uh, whereas the, the expanse is so wide. Uh, what is the vision, uh, limitation of the vision if you look through that keyhole and Sanskrit and I uh, daring to talk in front of you uh, uh, that Sanskrit every word can have 20 meanings depending on the context. So the person who has translated it either he, is, he or she is ignorant of the language or there is a uh, deliberate bias. Uh, and as Raji Malhotraji and others have written about intranslatables of Sanskrit, uh, one needs that scholarship of somebody who knows the Mool Bhasha. तो उसके hmm. बिना सिर्फ अंग्रेजी का अनुवाद लेके उसके बेसिस पे एक हिस्टोरिकल थ्योरी एंड मॉडल कंस्ट्रक्ट करना इट इज बाउंड टू फेल एंड द वर्स्ट पार्ट नित्यानंद जी इज दैट इवन ड्यूरिंग ब्रिटिश कॉलोनियल रूल द नेशनलिस्ट स्कूल ऑफ हिस्टोरियोग्राफी दैट केम अबाउट वो उसी जमाने में इन द एटीन फोर्टीज फिफ्टीज आफ्टर जेम्स मिल केम अप विथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ ब्रिटिश इंडिया Uh, you had from Maharashtra uh, a series of people who started writing rebuttals to everything that James Mill wrote. Uh, and these, since we were a slave nation, openly published nahi kar sakte the kita kita mein. So articles likte the anonymously to the newspaper, and they were all titled as the first Hindu, the second Hindu, the third Hindu. So they rebutted every aspect of what James Mill had derided Indian culture, Indian history. So pura bekar hai. And the Macaulayan this thing ki uh, you know one. shelf of european literature is equal to all the sanskrit uh, you know <laughs> knowledge that this country has produced and all that so these people were writing rebuttals and slowly that scholarship started emerging and that's how even under colonial rule you had an opportunity for a nationalist school of historiography to emerge whether it was sir jadunath sarkar dr r c majumdar right. uh, v k rajwade bhandarkar Uh, several of them uh, and from maharashtra bengal main centers from where all these people came but the worst part the irony is after independence when these people should have actually you know come to the fore it was suppressed more ruthlessly than the british actually did and mm. you had the hegemony of the marxist historiography which looked at uh, completely i think uh, lenses which do, uh, sometimes or most often do not fit for indian society the indian realities and try to juxtapose for political uh, you know reasons models of history and we've been suffering that uh, for 75 years now with very little being done to counter that as well as to what what is credible sensible logical scholarship to counter Uh, something deep rooted jade itni mazboot ho gayi hai saat dashkon mein ki usko hila pana kafi mushkil hai aaj bhi vishwavidyalayon mein ho ya fir upsc training ke kitabe ho unhi ka bol wala hai to where is the alternative scholarship that is simply not being produced i understand that uh, with the lack of political patronage in the past uh, and the manner in which these people you know kept everything under their control academia ho media ho mind space and that's the usual frankfurt school of uh, marxism which says the culture war mein you have to control the mind uh, the hegemonic culture and the counter hegemony so through cultural means is when you can mold uh, generations and they understood it very well i can understand that uh, you know in the nehruvian times indira gandhi's times it was not possible for the nationalist school to emerge because people paid a very heavy price mm. those days if you opposed the government's uh, you know uh, prescription but today in the information age when things are so accessible to everyone thekedar ab bahut kam bache hain ki hum hi hain itihas ke thekedar ki hum jo bolenge wahi sach hai to as 
ऐसे जमाने में आई थिंक देर शुड बी मोर डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप श्योर मोर पीपल शुड कम नाउ देर इज नो मोर यू नो एक्सक्यूज दैट समन कैन हैव देर इज अ सोशल क्लाइमेट फॉर नाउ देर इज अ पोलिटिकल क्लाइमेट अब कितने दिन रहेगा नहीं रहेगा वो अलग बात है बट एटलीस्ट सोशली देर इज अवेयरनेस देर इज अग तो गए हैं भारतीय की दिस इज हैपन टू अस दो अरुण शौरी हैड अवेकंड ऑल ऑफ अस विथ इज एमिनेंट हिस्टोरियंस बुक टू डेकेट्स बैक आई लव द कवर ऑफ दैट बुक बट एटलीस्ट नाउ देर इज अब किसी को भी पूछ पूछिए इवन यू नो यंगस्टर्स इन यूनिवर्सिटीज दे ऑल टॉक अबाउट आर हिस्ट्री इज डिस्टॉर्टेड आर इंस्टाग्राम रील्स आप देखिए इसी के बारे में होगा तो देर इज दैट उत्सुकता है देर इज दैट एंगस्ट दैट यू नो वी हैव नॉट बीन टोल्ड द ट्रूथ तो आई थिंक टू मेक यूज ऑफ दैट फेवरेबल क्लाइमेट मोर स्कॉलरशिप हैज टू कम अपी नीड अ विक्रम फॉर एवरी वीर अरे बाप रे इंटरेस्टिंगली विक्रम और वीर समानार्थी शब्द है <laughs> so, संस्कृत में वीर शब्द जो है द द धातु उसकी है वीर विक्रांत ओ वीर वीर ही वैलरस इज वीर एंड विक्रांति इज द सेम द वर्ड विच कम्स फ्रॉम द सेम रूट एज विक्रम अच्छा विशिष्टो क्रमो यस्य स विक्रम महादेव प्रसाद फॉर दिस बुक आई थिंक यू हैव बीन डेस्टिन टू राइट अबाउट वीर सावरकर You talked about the agenda, और यहाँ मैं एक बहुत आवश्यक बात कहना चाहता हूँ सावरकर जी पर इतिहासकारों ने उनके साथ जो अन्याय किया वो तो हम जानते हैं In my school textbooks, he was largely ignored. Maybe, maybe, maybe a mention here or there in a footnote or or in, in passing. Hmm. When I read my first book on about which mentioned सावरकर in some detail, unfortunately that was the world famous book Freedom at Midnight. नाइट हाँ by dominic lapier and larry collins right. uh, the french and us so called historians and unfortunately i read it or fortunately because now i am aware of their lies i read it at an impressionable age hmm. that book the author also wrote o jerusalem which was about yes. israel's war of independence the authors presented everything as this was a fact hmm. they did not cite sources well that was his style uh perhaps they cited sources for some of their facts they made such a bold claim about savarkar and i want to talk about it when they discuss gandhi's assassination mm. they claim in the book at multiple places that nathuram godse was a homosexual and his partner was veer savarkar yes yeah when i read it i believed it because i was at an age where i had no, no such critical thinking that i have today and for a long time i did believe it and it was only later that i found there is absolutely no evidence of this fact yeah. now you have written two tomes on savarkar yeah did you find anything remotely of that uh with which this such a claim could be supported not at all first of all i mean even for a fraction of a second if we assume it is true uh, i i would deem it as homophobia to even call that as a slur i mean so what even if they were uh, if it was the case as i said for a fraction of a second man bhi le to it's their personal life but as they mention in this book i think uh, today now i think it is their homophobia and hatred of savarkar coming together to make uh, up such a claim ha 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 yes both yes yes True. it is their inherent homophobia because in in the sanatan culture it's a, it's a minor crime it's yeah. a minor offense in the dharma shastras minor punishments are prescribed and mm. we don't we don't do what the britishers did to alan turing yeah 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 and what the iranians do to people by throwing them off uh, cliffs. tall buildings yeah. and cliffs <laughs> so what so, about uh, such claims no no first of all uh, people see this is the, how the gobletion propaganda works where you can make these tall claims without sources usme bhi agar aap dekhen there is no reference uh, at the end of a paragraph he says but you know uh, these two uh, some some language the but uska kya reference hai who told you that did you speak to somebody did someone give you some oral narratives were there families kuch nahi just i felt so trust me bro source <laughs> so you know so that that is all but that uh, lie is propagated 100 times it assumes the form of truth uh, that that becomes uh, you know uh, 
सर्वप्रचलित हर जगह पे पर पीपल डू नॉट नो दैट सावरकर जी फैमिली एक्चुअली टुक दिस पीपल फाइल्ड डेफमेशन सूट अगेंस्ट लैपियर एंड द को ऑथर या एंड या कॉलिंस एंड दीज पीपल है Uh, in the subsequent editions they had to retract that and that portion was removed they gave an out of court apology and all of that and said this is we didn't have sources and that went away but that story will never come hmm. it's a uh, corrigendum in a newspaper which will be in small type on uh, the 7th or 8th page <laughs> small font so that you definitely miss it right. but by then the story has g- gathered abhi bhi recently congress used it i think in 2 uh, 3 years back bhopal seva dal ya congress seva dal ke kuch log hai ya i think 2019 ya 20 mein are ye to he was a homosexual and so on and so forth and, and at the same time your party is uh, trying to support Uh, the repeal of 377 in parliament so what is this uh, policy uh, and secondly how does that uh, how uh, that way if one has to do character assassination of gandhi and nehru and you know their uh, escapades and what happens in someone's bedroom is their per- personal matter it does as long as it doesn't affect the Uh, country's course of action in nehru's case it did affect the country's uh, you know the course uh, but gandhi's experiments with truth these are their private uh, you know things so i don't even know why that was that needs to be pulled out as a stick to beat the person with whereas in this case there was no um, there was no evidence also and the same people ironically do the other end that he was a promiscuous man Uh, that there is another allegation on savarkar that including you know the, he was arrested uh, in london uh, in 1906 uh, uh, 1910 when he goes to paris and he's come uh, he right. comes back he gets out of the uh, train and then they come and capture him uh, some of the people also allege that that was because he had a girlfriend then called margaret cousins uh, for which also there is no evidence so he was such a philander he was a you know a promiscuous guy going behind gori memes and this and that to decide was he behind women was he uh, with uh, god say what what do you want to make of him <laughs> so both the things was he bisexual whatever i don't know what and how does that even matter so th- there also there is no claim uh they make all sorts of claims that uh, he was into uh, drug addiction he was behind women in london with zero evidence and these kind of you know false these things to do character assassination of a important great nationalist great nationalist a revolutionary an ideologue a poet a thinker a writer historian journalist playwright a series of things i mean it is uh, i don't understand the rationale at all argue with the man on what he writes na uh, हमारे दर्शकों के लिए और ऐसी अनेक पंक्तियों का अनुवाद आपने अपनी पुस्तक में किया ही है जो पहले भाग में है और दूसरे भाग में इसका हिंदी अनुवाद भी छप चुका है आत्मबल उनकी बहुत अच्छी कविता है सावरकर जी की और दो पंक्तियां उनकी जो प्रारंभ की दो पंक्तियां हैं मराठी में अनादिमी अनंतमी अवध्यमी भला मारिल रिपु जगती असा कवण जन्मला मैं अनादि हूं मैं अनंत हूं और मैं अवध्य हूं मेरा वध नहीं किया जा सकता मेरा रिपु जगत में ऐसा कौन है जो जन्मा है मेरा कौन शत्रु है जो जन्मा है इन ऐसी पंक्तियों में हमें सावरकर जी की का एक पक्ष दिखता है जो एक दार्शनिक पक्ष है जी एक तो उनका हिंदुत्व का पक्ष है जो जगत प्रसिद्ध है एक उनका स्वातंत्र्य वीर का पक्ष है जो हम सब लोग जानते हैं पर एक उनका दार्शनिक पक्ष है उस पर आप यदि कुछ प्रकाश डालें तो सम लाइट ऑन हिज फिलोसॉफिकल साइड या एक तो वो है मुझे लगता है कि उनमें कविता का भी जो आविर्भाव हुआ उनमें इट वॉज डीपली आउट ऑफ अ सेंस ऑफ पर्सनल लॉस एंड पैथॉस बहुत छोटी सी आयु में उन, उनके माँ का देहांत हो गया था आई थिंक वेन ही वॉज एट और नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड और तभी ये कविता लिखना इन्होंने शुरू कर दिया था उसी वक्त से और फिर बाय द टाइम ही वॉज ट्वेल्व और थर्टीन उनके पिताजी भी गुजर चुके थे बिकॉज ऑफ द प्लेग एवरी टाइम आई थिंक ही यूज पोएट्री एज अ मीन्स टू एक्सप्रेस हिज ग्रीफ एंड ऑल्सो गिव हिम दैट सपोर्ट वेन ही नीडेड इट उनके सारी कविताओं का अगर आप यू सी द परिपेक्ष 
कॉन्टेक्स्ट uh, अगर आप देखें तो उसमें दैट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जो आपने अभी पढ़ा दैट ऑल्सो द द लाइंस आर गुड बट द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज इवन बेटर बिकॉज ये कब उन्होंने लिखा जब उनको लंदन uh, से पकड़ के वो वापस भारत निष्कासित उनको कर रहे थे व्हेन द शिप वाज डॉक्ट एट मासाई इन फ्रांस तब ही जम्प्स आउट ऑफ द पोर्ट होल ऑफ द लेबरेटरी एंड जम्प्स इन द ओशन एंड स्विम्स एंड ट्राइज टू गो ऑन टू द फ्रेंच uh you know town and he was a lawyer unko pata tha what how to uh, you know escape british law so his claim was now i have set my foot on french soil uh so the british have lost their control over me now it is up to the french government do they want to give me up uh, or they want to give me asylum and so that becomes a case in the uh, international court Hmm. of justice in hague with la britain, fair sa la fair ha, that's a chapter where, in your book yes where britain and france fight uh, and churchill and others say at any cost this man needs to be deported back to india to unko wapas pakad ke leke aa rahe the wapas to the jahaz uh, and you know it's a tragic greek tragedy the krantikari uh, gut jo tha madam bhika ji kama bvs ayer wo sab log uh, drive karke the plan was ये जंप मार के वहां से तैर के आएंगे एंड देर विल बी अ प्लेस वेर दे विल कम इन अ गाड़ी फ्रिस्क हिम अवे एंड टेक हिम अवे नाउ इन बॉलीवुड यू नो टर्न ऑफ इवेंट्स दे कम लेट वो लोग 15-20 मिनट लेट आते हैं बाई देन द ब्रिटिश सोल्जर्स हैव कम बैक देव ड्रैग्ड हिम बैक टू दी शिप सिटिंग इन द शिप एट दैट टाइम ही मॉक्स दो सोल्जर्स एंड से तू क्या करेगा मेरे को माई आत्मा इज बल आत्मा बल है मेरा एंड आई आई एम अनकॉन्करेबल कोई मेरा वध नहीं कर सकता सो द द मैनर इन विच ही वॉज गिविंग इंस्पिरेशन टू हिम सेल्फ पोर्ट ब्लेयर में जब यू नो द काइंड ऑफ टॉर्चर्स इन काला पानी दैट ऑल द रेवोल्यूशनरीज फेस्ड ज्यादातर लोग या तो आत्महत्या कर लेते थे या फिर दे उस टू लूज देयर सैनिटी इन फैक्ट ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट हैड स्टार्टेड एन एंटायर अजाइलम इन हडो आइलैंड इन द एंडमेंस ओनली टू हाउस पीपल हु हैड लॉस्ट देयर सैनिटी द रेवोल्यूशनरीज द काइंड ऑफ टॉर्चर्स यू नो बैड फूड लैक ऑफ सैनिटेशन दे हैड टू डेफिकेट एंड यूरिनेट इन देयर ओन सेल्स सिटिंग स्लीपिंग ईटिंग अमिस्ट योर स्कॉलर Uh, you know no uh, the kolhuka bell ka punishment electric shocks uh, kode pad rahe hain din bhar skin rashes no medical treatment nothing so in this kind of a situation where atma bal was so important where not only did he keep his strength but he was also like a neta for the other younger people aur ye sare log they were in their late teens and his elder brother also his elder brother was there baba rao was also there so these others also they who uh, were lodged largely from bengal some from maharashtra later when the gadar movement unraveled lot of sikhs uh, and others came from punjab so these people they were all young people they couldn't take so much of uh, torture and that was a british uh, attitude ki kisi tarah inka you have to break their spine uh, and at that time to maintain your not only maintain your uh, you know strength inner strength but also to inspire others he uh, when some people went on anshan uh, he tells them why do you want to go on anshan acche se khao british ka acche se kha ke apna uh, uh, wazan badhao apna uh, you know make your body and fight back there is no po- point of doing fast and to death and all those things so their poetry and he writes also there that uh, patanjali's yoga sutras hmm. uh, were something that were a very important uh, part of his understanding uh, and to give him that sense of in a strength in kalapani uh, even while he was in london and he designed this first uh, uh, flag of independent india which madam bhikaji kama unfurls uh, at the Na- stuttgart nationalist conference uh, in 1906 um, you know the it has among others the this thing of the kundalini uh, you know so and kirpan so the sikh and the hindu traditions and how these two came uh, together uh, and so he did have a deep understanding of the philosophical uh, moorings of uh, of india of hindu hinduism uh, he called himself i wouldn't say atheist uh, it would be nirishwarwadi to some extent mm. maybe agnosticism because he was con- he was a very rational person to right. har cheez pe sawal karo why this why that and that was how he was right from his childhood and i think the credit goes to his father who from a very young age 
cultivated the reading habit among all the children including the mother also would participate in post dinner conversations on the scriptures on uh, various sanskrit texts and also uh, you know uh, western philosophy sure which is how his not only his sanskrit was so good uh, but also uh, you know his understanding of uh, what uh, plato and others uh, you know in the west the greek philosophy everything right at that very early age so very very i think uh, intellectually Uh, stimulating uh, personality uh, and poetry he used and poetry died after he comes out of uh, hmm. you know kalapani. Uh, kalapani i think then by then the hindutva had taken over then through plays i think he tried through a uh, lot of some of his uh, plays were so famous which spoke about current issues uh, then he wrote uh, articles in the shraddhanand uh, you know journal that he started as a tribute to swami shraddhanand of the arya samaj who Samaj. was uh, killed in 1926 and in that he used to critique gandhi every i think he was constantly keeping a track of what gandhi was writing uh, in young india navjeevan and all these other gujarati and uh, english papers and writing a rebuttal uh, to him and creating that bhai well, uh, intellectual counterpoint to a dominant uh, view point which he was doing then uh, through the shraddhanand so somewhere there the poetry uh slowly i think uh, you know drained away and even in his school days uh, a poem he writes which w- w- wins him the best uh, you know poetry award and all that is on uh, widow remarriage right uh, in those days in maharashtra in the, no, it was uh, probably 1890s uh, to write and talk about widow remarriage and so on uh, is something that's far ahead of one's times and which is why also one of the reasons why he never became a mass leader <laughs> hmm. because uh, uh, indian society mein itne sare badlav ek sath apnana logon ke liye mushkil hai i think gandhi hmm. understood that isliye brick by brick chote yes. chote you know steps need to be taken towards reform <laughs> yes yes what i like about your approach is you don't idolize savarkar you don't denigrate savarkar hmm. you treat him as a historian should treat a person of historical importance right. you highlight his positives you also highlight some of his negatives you say he was also a bundle of contradictions yes. and you also say he was a man ahead of his times who had very rational views who was very sharp had a poetic side has a had a philosophical side and you treat him dispassionately I think this is the important contribution that you have made to Savarkar because thank you Marathi mein to bahut si pustake hain Maharashtra mein to Swatantra Veer Savarkar ki bahut manyata hai Lata Mangeshkar ho athwa koi ho sab log samman karte hi hain ji uh Maharashtra ke bahar Marathi mein unko Maharashtra ke log to padhte hain par Marathi ka jo unka sahitya hai unka unka vangmay hai ji wo logo ne padha nahi hai and people have been fed the same agenda driven english narrative about him hmm. so what this book has done i think you mentioned in the preface that there was only one obscure english biography which was out mm-hmm. of print when you right. take up these books and to come up with such an important book on such an important person and which i am so happy to see they are both now national bestsellers and they have been translated into multiple languages yeah. i think you deserve kudos and thanks of a nation thank you uh who which has uh, so far not seen the truth about savarkar in english <laughs> थैंक यू थैंक यू नितिन जी सावरकर से अब चलते हैं विच इज वन ऑफ योर अदर साइड विच आई फाइंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो हेर वी हैव अ बुक विमेन ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड एंड यू ऑल्सो रोट अ बुक ऑन गौहर जॉन माई नेम इज गौहर जॉन विच आई बिलीव हैज नॉट बीन ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू तेलुगु ऑल्सो ऑल्सो नाउ सो टेल अस अबाउट योर जर्नी इन म्यूजिक व्हिच इज यू नो साहित्य संगीत कला विहीन एज दे से यू आर इनटू साहित्य संगीत एंड कला सो प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योर जर्नी इन म्यूजिक एंड हाउ यू केम टू राइट दीस बुक्स एंड आल्सो अबाउट योर पीएचडी डिसर्टेशन व्हिच वाज ऑन म्यूजिक या सो लकीली आई एम नॉट दैट पशु विदाउट द द कुछ विचार ही ना सो आई थिंक so i was a single child and i think very very uh, socially awkward shy introverted which i continue to be never made too many friends uh, and didn't have siblings and so uh, for that reason my best companions were only two one was music uh, and the other were books and my parents uh, you know they deserve all the credit for whatever i've become today because we came from a very uh, low middle class family 
really struggling to eke out a living and despite that uh, for them to have invested so much uh, into these were hobbies it was never something that uh, you know would have pro- they never dreamt that ek din ye itihaskar banega ya lekhak banega it was just serendipitous uh, but i think when i was 4 or 5 my maternal grandmother she noticed that uh, i was able to uh, reproduce all the jingles and uh, bhajans ms subhlakshmi ji ke bhajans to hamesha uh, you know in south india every house has to venkateshwar suprabhat shisha drishekhar prabho suprabhat so i i was able to reproduce all that very well is what uh, they, they uh, told uh, they, they told me later uh, so my Ajji, uh, she uh, decided that. So Ajji is maternal grandmother. Maternal grandmother, yes. In Canada. In Marathi. Also in Marathi. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Ajoba is grandmother. Ajoba. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> so she decided to put me in music class. So before, so I was five years old or something, and uh, protesting, saying it ate into my playing time. But uh, she dragged me and somehow put me there. But it didn't take too long to for the addiction to grow. Within uh, I think a few uh, months, I was. totally besotted by music uh, and i think classical music especially our shastriya sangeet mein jo anushasan uh, hum seekhte hain usse ki ek swar ko agar pakadna hai correct swar mein how how much sadhana one needs to do hmm. it is tapasya uh, and that translates for me in my research uh, i think that's where it feeds in uh, when i look back at my uh, life so far at times i may only feel that everything is so disconnected uh, and i'm so confused but somewhere i see the connections that every pursuit of knowledge feeds into another music and its pursuit uh is not different from historical research uh yahan bhi you need that anushasan you need that uh, you know adherence to that uh, to that swar uh, sa sa pe hi hona chahiye swar sadhana ha sa has to be swar sthan uska sa pe hi rehna chahiye isi tarah agar koi satya hai jo itihas mein bataya ja raha hai to wo satya pe hi tikna chahiye idhar udhar gaye to wo uh, it becomes a bad uh, song similarly bad history uh, so i started learning uh, in bangalore initially uh, i um, learned under several gurus there including vidwan dv nagraj and then i went to bits pilani uh, until then it was a very sirf karnatak music and so on that i learned at home but bits pilani and i founded the spik mke chapter there in bits pilani wow. and that brought me to the highway of the arts uh it, just the fact that you know you could see so many art forms kuchipudi to manipuri to kathakali to hindustani music folk art fa- forms bowls and uh, you know uh, gurbani to everything uh, which my hitherto karnatic upbringing did not give it suddenly brought us and to interact with some of the greatest artists i think i have been so fortunate to have spent so much time uh, you know with all of them in fact we started Uh, the Yamini uh, in your alma mater of IIMB, the very first year uh, Yamini from Spikmake, the all night concert yes, yes. Uh, on the eve of Republic Day. So by chance, ऐसे ही हम लोग बहुत सारे ऐसे नामचीन कलाकारों को बुलाते थे पिलानी में भी और after the the main incentive for the members was कलाकारों के साथ बैठ के गुफ्तगु करना in the lawns. तो ऐसे ही एक बार श्रीमती बॉम्बे जयश्री जी वहाँ आई थी और जो जो विद्यार्थी कुछ गा सकता था या गा सकती थी या थोड़ा यू नो डांस वॉट एवर दे वुड परफॉर्म फॉर द आर्टिस्ट तो दे सेड ही कैन सिंग तो आई सैंग एंड शी वॉज लाइक व्हाट आर यू डूइंग इन एन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज वुड यू लाइक टू बी माई स्टूडेंट and i was like oh my god i used to worship her <laughs> she she was like the pratirupa of uh, saraswati. saraswati devi uh, so i had tears in my eyes i said if you think i'm even worth being your student that's something really great and so uh, on a uh, jiffy i agreed and every vacation uh, meant uh, you know going to chennai uh, where she lives uh, and from bitspilani the two months gap that used to come regularly uh, i used to keep going back and forth for advanced classes and uh, just imbibing a lot of uh, you know uh, her temperament her style of singing the bhavapurna uh, way which the lalgudi bani of La- lalgudi jayaraman ji uh, who student she was uh, all of that that came about was something really uh, very unique and then it was very difficult to do this uh, you know back and forth going to another city then she herself said why don't you learn from someone else in bangalore and that's how i got my third guru dr jayanti kumaresh ji uh, the w- world famous uh, you know vainika and the niece of lalgudi jaraman ji mm-hmm. so it was the same bani or the style 
and that was another experience because to learn from a instrumentalist uh, is a different thing uh, you know where the swarasthanas are you know you understand them much more deeper than directly from a vocalist so it was all of these uh, you know uh, this one and i i think i was very keen those days to take up music full time and become a performing artist i used to give uh, rookie performances concerts here and there ram navmi pe idhar udhar navratri do you still perform nowadays it's taken a back seat because <laughs> the other sahitya has uh, overtaken because iske liye itna mehnat karna padta hai riyaz roz 4 baje utho 4:30 baje sadhna karo all of that that uh, abhi ho nahi pata you're very right about you know learning from an instrumentalist yeah it gives you a much deeper understanding so bharat muni in his natya shastra hmm he says this that yam yam gata swaram gachet tam tam vamshena vadhe ah whatever swara the singer goes to whatever swara the singer vocalizes that same swara has to be replicated on the flute ah jo jo swara gayak jis jis swar par ja raha hai us us swar ko vanshi se bajana chahiye and that is the hallmark of a good flute player that he can replicate everything on the flute that a vocal uh, vocalist is vocalizing yeah. you see see this in we see this in the performances of uh, even ustad zakir hussain yes he would mimic on the tabla what is yeah. being sung by a vocalist correct correct which is much more difficult because you're not on the same yes. you're not in the same medium yeah true so <laughs> wonderful so that's how i mean the the mu- interest in music was always there and history was also there and that's my my second book was that uh, on gohar jaan my name is my gohar name is gohar jaan uh, and that also everything in life has been serendipity <laughs> so happy accidents a series of very happy accidents for which there's only gratitude uh, you know the first book i was writing on uh, the mysore royal family splendors of royal mysore the untold story of the wadiyars which came out in 2008 uh, and while researching on that book by chance there was a mention in the palace archives there was a small little you know b- box file full of letters of all the visiting musicians who came to the mysore palace uh, and one of them was gohar jaan and there were few pages of that which said she was india's first gramophone celebrity uh, first reco- commercially recorded artist and two three lines of biography that's all i mean it was hardly a paragraph which said she was uh, born of a hindu grandmother uh, an Ar- british grandfather an armenian christian father who later converted to islam and uh, mother and daughter became uh, her mother became badi malka jaan and she became gohar jaan and they became uh, you know tawaifs and courtesans in the court of nawab wajid ali shah and the mother was a very celebrated urdu poet too she wrote an entire diwan of urdu uh, ghazals called magzane ulfat e malika or the treasure trove of malika's love uh so uh that was all that was there and that she died in mysore a very broken lady uh lonely uh you know cheated by then by all her lovers and others she was a super star of her times she used to charge 3000 rupees for one recording session uh go on ghoda gadis in eden garden for which she would pay 1000 rupees fine to the british viceroy every day and still go on her uh, joy ride so Chutzpah. and would proudly announce at the end my, of each yes. concert my name, my name is, is gohar jaan John. at the recording yeah so uh, i, I think there's a video of, the, of her doing this i've seen it long back acha no i um, she would she died before the 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 this one came i think it's maybe maybe it could be someone else enacting her role uh, so on a jiffy i i thought i should write her story not knowing like why and how it something captured me sitting in mysore palace archives that afternoon and i just it was like looking for a needle in a haystack you know here's a tawaif who died in 1930 no legal heirs uh, no you know ch- you know students no nobody uh, and from the place of her death it took me 5 years to literally go on a nationwide khoj uh, azamgarh where she was born to banaras where they they converted and lived and then to calcutta where she lived Uh, for the longest time she was known as gohar jaan kolkatta wali hmm. uh, and to darbhanga rampur uh, mysore where she died then um, madras mumbai and also london and berlin the german you know recording agent who came to india uh, i managed to get his diaries uh, you know where he said how did she come get dressed to the studio with all her jewelry and finery and how she negotiated a high price and you know when recording technology came to india 
all over india it was only women who recorded hmm. we men stayed away from technology <laughs> <laughs> so no, that was the other uh, book of women of the records women of uh, the records with uh, ricky cage uh, you know the grammy award winner and also michael graves again a grammy award winner who we've digitized some of these original uh, 78 rpms and gohar jahan and the book uh, you know sitting there in mysore that day i would have thought ki kaun padhega isko hmm. kisko padhi hai iske bare mein agar you know people think like that the book of course became a big uh, you know success uh, it won the sahitya academy award it won a uh, award uh, in new york and all of that but it changed the course of my life completely in multiple ways uh, you know i it helped me establish probably india's first digital sound archive uh, for vintage gramophone recordings uh, that i have done called the archive of indian music uh, so we don't have a national sound archive in india so uh, all are you know audio wealth lies in chor bazaars raddi ke dukan jahan hum log usko phenk dete hain jo purane gramophone aajkal wo needle bhi nahi milta usko bajane ke liye to kya karenge log ab na dadi ka khazana hai usko de do raddi wale ko to wahan se le ja ke le aa aake maine isko banaya hai to 2011 mein sthapit kiya isko and we have rescued about 15000 gramophone records 15000 yeah 15 sahasra <laughs> क्या बात विद द हेल्प ऑफ मिस्टर टीवी मोहनदास पाई एंड हैज ऑल दिस बीन डिजिटाइज्ड इट्स इन द प्रोसेस एंड इन फैक्ट साउंड क्लाउड डॉट कॉम पे अगर आप आर्काइव ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिक सर्च करें तो अब लगभग 2000 ट्रैक्स ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड हैं फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू कैन सिट इन द कन्फाइंस ऑफ योर हाउस एंड एंजॉय Uh, and this is not just classical music, uh, Hindustani and Carnatic. There's also folk music hmm. uh, from various parts of India. Theater recordings, Marathi Natya Sangeet, Bal Gandharva ho, ya Master Krishna Rao, uh, Bai Sundara Bai, all these people. Then Bengali theater, then early cinema of the Sagal and Devi Karani and that era, and also Tamil cinema, Telugu cinema, different languages. Then speeches of leaders like Gandhi and Tagore, uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose ka speech from Tokyo. uh during when he was there uh, during the second world war all of those are there in this archive uh, which people can access so it gave me that this ek soche ek episode sitting in mysore i would not have dreamt agar i would have thought kaun padhega isko commercial hmm. success ho, hoga ya nahi uh, the kind of spin offs that came out of it because of that thing i understood gramophone era recording and because of that i went looking for gramophone records then i understood that we don't have an archive then thought ki we should establish an archive uh, government was not doing anything uh, so let's do it as a private initiative and then again serendipity struck where i used to give talks about this everywhere by chance ek bar australia mein gaya tha university of queensland to give a lecture on this i mean on uh, gohar jahan and her life and by uh, saubhagya vashat in the audience uh, we had the school of uh, history and the school of music unke jo heads the wo wahan pe baithe the aur lecture ke baad wo aake mujhse uh, puche ki aapne itna kaam kiya hai is pe to kyun na aap isko ek uh, phd ke tarah ek uh, you can put this together and we'll be happy to support it तो मैंने कहा मुझे ये ऑनरली पी एच डी आप मत दीजिए मैं वुड लाइक टू वर्क थ्रू द रिगर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक रिसर्च एंड हिस्ट्री एंड न्यू इट वॉज एन इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी थिंग टू द स्कूल ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड द स्कूल ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑल ऑफ देम केम टूगेदर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ क्वींसलैंड क्वींसलैंड में ब्रिस्बिन एंड अनादर यू नो सेरन डिपिटी देर वॉज एन इंडियन हिस्टोरियन इन क्वींसलैंड कॉल्ड प्रोफेसर सिंघल हु हैड डाइड विद अ बिक्वेस्ट विथ सेड Um, you know i'm giving this fund to fund finance the studies of an indian scholar who will come to this university to do his uh, or her phd in history and that bequest was expiring in the next 6 months hmm. and they had not found an indian scholar so main aa gaya tha bakra to <laughs> isko pakdo <laughs> paise bhi de do to uh, imagine i did not even have to spend any money to pursue my phd that stipend and the australian government gave a series of uh um, you know scholarships based by then i had already published three books uh so based on that uh you know mm. they said uh, on merit we'll give you these scholarships so without having to spend anything and in a very very intellectually uh, you know stimulating environment where i had to make presentations to three schools actually to the school of music to the school of history and also the school of mass communication and journalism because this was more of a 
you know uh, my thesis was on the advent of uh, recording technology and its impact on indian classical music and mass consumption mm. uh, so it was a bit of also market dynamics how did these multinational companies that came so there were all the recording companies came from europe uh, you know the gramophone company of india which came from london you had some from uh, france someone from germany and they were establishing bases in india and using the product selling it all over the world uh, to create a multinational corporation so and the at the forefront are indian artists who didn't even understand their language were negotiating contracts and deals through some agents or some themselves like gohar jan managed to do by herself so it was a study uh, from multiple angles uh, of history music musicology ethno uh, ethno musicology uh, so it was very very interesting four years which also gave me the courage to give up my corporate career that i was stuck in uh, and feeling extremely miserable about <laughs> and uh, branch out so one book one thought can lead to so many uh, branches which you can't even imagine and so that's why i mean uh, i don't say it just as a you know homily but sometimes i think this the power of surrender uh, mm. and the thing that hum log ye kar rahe hain we are doing this arrogance that we have we are doing nothing we are really an instrument who who's just being available for the universe to uh, work its way through through us i think as krishna says nimitra matram nimitra matram bhava savya sachin bilkul you talk about serendipity और यही बात कालिदास कहते हैं अभिज्ञान शाकुंतल में अथवा भवितव्या द्वाराणी भवन्ति सर्वत्र द डोर्स टू द फ्यूचर इवेंट्स लाइ एवरीवेयर सो व्हाट ओपन द डोर टू ब्रेव हार्ट्स ऑफ भारत टेल अस अबाउट दिस दिस फैंटास्टिक बुक दिस वाज आल्सो एक्चुअली अ पिटी ऐसे हम लोग आ, मैं और मेरे मित्र जो बहुत बड़े लेखक भी हैं संजीव सान्याल दिल्ली में एक, एक शाम ऐसे गुजार रहे थे और बात करते करते संजीव कीप्स पुटिंग दिस ब्रेन टीजर्स एट यू ही सेड कैन यू नेम फाइव बैटल्स दैट वी एज इंडिया एंड इंडियंस वन और हम दोनों वी वट वॉज अ गेम दैट वी वर ट्राइंग टू प्ले ही ऑल्सो कुड नॉट कम अप विथ प्रॉपर यू नो नेम्स एंड सो ऑन एंड आई ऑल्सो कुड एंड एंड दैट केप मी इट डिस्टर्ब मी अ लॉट दिस वन कॉन्वर्जेशन यू नो कैजुअल वन इन एन इवनिंग इन डेली आई डिट नो दैट वुड लीड टू अ बुक सो आई सेट क्या बट कम टू थिंक ऑफ इट ऑल दैट वी हैव लर्न इन आर हिस्ट्री इज ऑफ बैटल्स अ लॉन्ग लिटनी ऑफ वॉर्स एंड बैटल्स दैट वी एज इंडिया एंड इंडियंस हैव लॉस्ट Uh, आप सोचिए बैटल ऑफ द द अरब इन्वेजन ऑफ सिंध हो बैटल ऑफ तरेन बैटल्स ऑफ पानीपत बैटल ऑफ प्लासी बैटल ऑफ बक्सर एंग्लो मराठा एंग्लो सिख एंग्लो माइसोर जो भी वॉर uh, के बारे में हम लोग पढ़ते हैं वो सारे ऐसे हैं जहां भारत और भारतीय हारे, हारे हैं।, हैं तो इट हैज़ बीन अ कॉलोनियल प्रोजेक्ट टू शो अज राइट फ्राम द मिथ ऑफ दैट आर्यन इन्वेजन कि आपकी तो नियति ही है कि आप किसी दूसरे द्वारा पराजित परास्त होते रहेंगे और कोई और आके आप पे अधिपत्य जमाते रहेगा और हम वी आर जस्ट अ अपग्रेडेड वर्शन ऑफ द सेम आर्यन इन्वेजन सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट है हम एंड सो इट्स योर यू नो डेस्टिनी टू बी रूल्ड बाय आउटसाइडर्स एंड वी बिलीव दैट एंड वर्स इज आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस वी कंटिन्यूड एज वी स्पोक अलियर अबाउट द मार्क्सिस्ट हेजी मनी ये हीन भावना जो हमें भरी जाती है कि वी आर अ नेशन ऑफ नो गुडर्स वी आर लूजर्स अब एक इतिहासकार का दायित्व ये नहीं है कि जिंगोइज्म या प्राइड जागृत करना आई मीन दैट्स नॉट रियली द टास्क बट हीन भावना जागृत करना भी नहीं है देर आर गुड गुड एंड बैड एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एवरी सोसाइटी एंड एवरी पास्ट and uh, i think a historian needs to focus on both in india i think the sad part is we've over emphasized only on the negatives uh, the divisions in society we've never spoken about uh, you know the the battles we won if we are the only pre bronze age era civilization that is still alive and kicking whereas all the others have become pagan uh, pagan civilizations which are we are the only surviving pagan uh, so called pagan uh, you know uh, civilization Uh, there must have been some wars that our poor ancestors won also kuch to kshatra spirit unhone bhi dikhaya hoga to wo kaun the wo log aur kaun si aise jang the jo humne hum jeete bhi hai aur and along with men 
also women uh, history is not always his story you mentioned so, begum hazrat mahal begum yeah. hazrat there are out of 15 people uh, seven are women in this book uh, right from rani naiki devi of gujarat who defeats mohammad ghori uh, in the battle of kasarhada in 1178 i'm sure we would not have heard about that nobody taught us in the history nobody books. yeah and uh, we always know about mohammed bin qasim coming and uh, you know in uh, occupying sindh but we didn't wouldn't have been told that uh, it took the arab 60 to 70 years to occupy sindh when raja dahar and his uh, predecessor chacha they kept defeating the arabs it was only after that and after they occupied sindh also a large confederacy of indian hindu rulers Uh, Lalita Ditya Mukta Pida of Kashmir, Kashmir. Yasho Varman of Kannauj then there is Maharana Bappa Rawal of Mewar uh, Vikramaditya the Chalukya king and then Danti Durga the Rashtrakuta his uh, you know subsidiary all of them they formed alliances to push the arabs back तो उनको जहाँ पे यू नो मिडल ईस्ट हो या अफ्रीका हो वहाँ एक इस्लामिक साम्राज्य स्थापित करने के लिए शायद प्रॉफिट पैगंबर मोहम्मद के गुजर जाने के बाद शायद 50 साल साठ साल के अंदर वो पूरा जो जगह है मिडल ईस्ट एंड अफ्रीका नॉर्थ अफ्रीका एवरीथिंग थिंग वॉट इस्लामाइज विद इन फिफ्टी सिक्सटी ईयर्स पर भारत में पहला इस्लामिक सल्तनत स्थापित करने के लिए उनको पाँच साल लगे From 712, when the Arab invasion happened, the Delhi Sultanate was 1206. So 500 years of resistance and pushback. Who was doing it? And about Muhammad Ghazni, we also know that 17 times he came. And what did we do? We were all sitting there in the hands of our hands. That no one came from outside. 17 times he came. 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 Uh, so there was the Hindu Shahi rulers of uh, you know the Afghanistan area, the uh, Te Jayapala, Abhinavapala, Trilochana Pala. There was someone called Nidarabhima. All these people who kept pushing the Turks out. Sometimes they managed to come in. We know get to know only the ones of them coming in. But Correct. ten times when they were repelled, वो हमें कोई नहीं बताता. So similarly, other women uh, of the subcontinent. There was Rudrama Devi of Varangal, Belu Nachiar of Tamil Nadu, who was the first, uh, you know, lady ruler who defeated the English East India Company. Then from Karnataka, you had Rani Abakka. Uh, there were four Rani Abakkas who all defeated the Portuguese. Uh, then Chand Bibi uh, in Ahmednagar, who also gave a push back against the Mughal uh, invasion. Akbar himself had to come. personally to and by stealth she was uh, killed only then he could occupy ahmednagar uh, which she held uh, and hazrat mahal also as you said you know keep, um, uh, the last bastion of the 1857 uprising lucknow fell much after delhi kanpur and other places uh, were conquered uh, so like that these these women and also the delhi centricity of our history hmm. uh, is history of india is not the history of delhi <laughs> there are large parts of india which go totally uh, underrepresented khilji tughlaq lodhi ye wo i mean uh, har chhota mota chapters dedicated to all to of them, them in our textbooks exactly. and shivaji maharaj gets pages of paragraphs oh no in, in my childhood ya yeah, now agar aap jaake dekhe hain aapke bete ka jo ncert kitab aap kabhi kabhi wo bhi dekh liya kijiye ki kaun se class mein kya pad rahe hain Uh, I don't know if they've been changed. NCERT Class Seven book. It's called St- uh, Stories of the Past or something. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj only gets a photograph, and there's a caption below it saying who this person is. Uh, Cholas probably get half a paragraph. The Vijayanagar Empire is dismissed Maybe. off in terms of uh, the fall of Hampi. We will be told about the destruction of Hampi, but we are not told about the glory years of Hampi. All the you know Rashtrakutas, Pallavas, Chalukyas, Gangas, Kadambas—they are all disposed of in a map, saying "ye ye ye." Here, here they were they were ruling. The northeast of India never gets featured. And you mentioned Lachit, Borpur, Lachit, and the Ahoms. In, in this book, yes, the Ahoms ruled for six hundred years. And they defeated the Mughals. The Mughal, they, not only the Mughals, right from the Khiljis to the Afghans to the uh, you know Mughals, whoever came. Assam remained. I mean, the, the name Assam is Assama, uh, which is invincible. Yeah, and invincible. So you know that is how uh, they remained completely. Similarly, Tripura, though in this I could not. Tripura was ruled for about 550 years by the Manikya uh, dynasty, which again was uh, you know great pushback and resistance story. Uh, along with that, two civilizational warriors who I included in this book were uh, uh, Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar. 
and from Kashi many, Vishwanath. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and all. I mean, she resurrected Somnath, Kashi Vishwanath, all the twelve Jyotirlings, the Char Dhams, the Sat uh, Saptapuris, all of that, and created a civilizational map just like pro probably what Adi Shankaracharya did by establishing the cardinal muts in the four directions. She also, I mean, ek sutra mein band diya pure desh ko Sanskriti or uh, you know faith. धर्म के आधार पे उन्होंने और ऐसे समय में जब देश बहुत ही विकट परिस्थिति से गुजर रहा था तो हर शी वॉज नॉट अ वॉरियर हु वेंट इन टू दी बैटल फील्ड टू फाइट बट इन डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स टू कीप दी फ्लेम ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन अलाइव आई थिंक शी वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिमिलरली इन मणिपुर दे वॉज दे वॉज इज राजा कॉल्ड राजर्षि भाग्य चंद्रा जय सिंह हु गेव मणिपुर द संस्कृत नेम ऑल्सो मणिपुर Uh, and also started this entire uh, movement of Krishna Bhakti there. So the Manipuri Ras Lila that you see there now, uh, Govind Ji, Sri Govind Ji in Imphal, uh, the statue that was consecrated uh, by him, uh, and his own daughter, uh, you know, he dedicates to the God to do the Radha, to play Radha in the Ras Lila, uh, and uh, all this even while he was pushing back against the Burmese. who are constantly attacking manipur so like this i mean these are very important uh, names and heroes and heroines from all over india kashmir se leke tamil nadu tak and manipur se leke gujarat tak whom we need to embrace and talk about as our national heroes as our and heroines, hero, heroines. Yes. so that was what brave hearts of bharat was all about इसका बहुत मुझे हिंदी का शीर्षक बड़ा अच्छा लगा शौर्य गाथा है <laughs> बहुत अच्छा और आपकी जो सावरकर की पुस्तक है उसका भी भूले बिसरे अतीत की एक गूंज बड़े अच्छे हाँ। शीर्षक हैं और ये बहुत आह्लादित करने वाली बातें हैं जो आप आपकी पुस्तकों का अन्य अन्य भाषाओं में अनुवाद हो रहा है हिंदी में मराठी में तेलुगु में इत्यादि इत्यादि आगे चलते हैं आपके और उपक्रमों की ओर यू हैव अ फाउंडेशन एंड यू लाइक to know more about it what you're trying to achieve there and how you think that will change the course of studying history and other disciplines in this country i don't know how it will change wo to uh, it depends on destiny par ek chhota sa ek prayas hai nityanand ji ki you know we keep on saying ki इन्होंने ऐसा किया मार्क्सवादियों ने हमारे इतिहास को विकृत करके छोड़ दिया पर उसका काउंटर क्या है हमने स्कॉलरशिप कहाँ पैदा किया है द आंसर टू ऑल दोज डिस्टॉर्शन इज ओनली एंड ओनली स्कॉलरशिप नाउ टू डू दैट आई मीन एज यू मैंशन पहले आपने बताया था कि आज ये शायद दुनिया में एक ही ऐसा देश होगा जहाँ पे आप प्राचीन भारत के जाने माने इतिहासकार हो सकते हैं वेन यू डोंट प्राकृत का एक अक्षर जाने बिना हाँ जाने बिना सिमिलरली मेडिवल इंडिया विदाउट नोइंग पर्शियन एंड अरेबिक और प्राउडली आप प्रोक्लेम ही करेंगे हमें तो पता नहीं <laughs> तो मैंने सोचा कि टू गो टू द प्राइमरी सोर्सेस सर जादूनाथ सरकार ने जब औरंगजेब की जीवनी लिखी ही लर्न पर्शियन एंड ही हिज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज सेमिनल टू काइंड ऑफ डी कोड सम ऑफ यू नो औरंगजेब फरमान एंड ऑल the inscriptions of his time uh, to go back to the language the, the 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 combination i think between language and historical research is very intricate which we have never i think exposed in india or uh, exploited enough sanskrit ke bhi pandit agar hain to wo apna apni sanskrit ka jo gyan hai they use it only for you know मॉडर्न हिस्टोरियन फॉर मी टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग संस्कृत पाली प्राकृत अरेबिक पर्शियन एंड देन गेन द महारथ टू बी एबल टू रीड द टेक्स इट वुड टेक मी अपल ऑफ लाइफ टाइम्स so i thought ki why not create a foundation where uh, there it will be a multidisciplinary group where a sanskrit pandit uh, a prakrit scholar a historian maybe an archaeologist a geologist we all form small multidisciplinary groups to uh, to research on historical themes which are of contemporary relevance today uh, let us go back to the primary sources let us uh, decode them as they are itihas is also it thus happened so as it happened let us take this let there be de debate and discussion because till now a historian would not even talk to an archaeologist everyone operates in silos and in competition with each other so munde munde mathe bhinna let all these mun <laughs> mundas come together <laughs> and try to see if we can come to a common factor of uh, acceptance uh, that was one aspect 
the other thing that the foundation plans to do is to give um, uh, planning to name it as sir jadunath uh, sarkar fellowship for indian history where we give out fellowships to aspiring scholars uh, who have the spark uh, to write uh, and the idea is we'll give them a stipend for a substantial period uh, you know for a for a year or so and at the end of it they have to come with a published worthy manuscript uh, a commercially accessible not purely academic one but something that is readable by common uh, public so every year five or six so new book, books book not a journal paper yes yes there could be outcomes which could be journals it could be other thing but the main output should be a book which can uh, be read widely by common masses you can pick this up from an airport bookstore so that it reaches out to the common uh, this one well, you know people of india particularly youngsters so that was another aspect of the uh, the foundation the fellowship program uh, the research projects uh, will take it up you know one project per year or one in two years we've uh, already made broad ideas about a pilot project which we are going to and we'll incubate this in educational institutes universities to hamara jo pehla pilot project hai hum usko incubate kar rahe hain nalanda university mein uh, and we've been very uh, you know fortunate to get the support from the chancellor professor arvind panagria and the vice chancellor uh, professor abhay singh uh, to kind of create this small interdisciplinary multidisciplinary group uh, and we want to investigate the rise and fall of buddhism in india uh, and what better place to do that than nalanda बिकॉज हर बार जब हम बोलते हैं कि इस्लामिक आक्रांता आके हमारे मंदिरों को उन्होंने ध्वस्त किया तो द काउंटर फ्रॉम द मार्क्सिस साइड इज पर आप लोगों ने भी बौद्ध स्तूपाओं और विहारों को ध्वस्त किया था उसका क्या कोई एविडेंस है सीताराम गोयल जी हैड चैलेंज रोमिला थापर टू प्रोड्यूस एविडेंस ऑन द थ्री इंस्क्रिप्शन शी हैड स्पोकन अबाउट टू ऑफ देम टर्न आउट टू बी फेक uh one was uh, you know uh, half baked information and he challenged her to a uh, to a public debate and arun chauri mentions this in his uh, eminent, eminent historians too uh, she never participated in that so maybe there were some you know stray incidents i don't know uh, pushyamitra shunga ho ya mehra kula shashanka uh, are cited as evidences of stupas being destroyed but was it a theological sanction was there a purpose were these schools of philosophies which were contesting the astika nastika schools uh, among the astika you had so many i mean the uh, sankhya nyaya vaisheshika they were all uh, you know having dialectic uh, you know conversations among each other and the bauddha jaina and the charvak traditions uh, what were their interactions so all of this uh, as you know it's not just history it's also understanding the language also an archaeologist who will tell us why nalanda was destroyed uh, was it bakhtiar khilji who did it uh, or was uh, as the leftist dn jha and others say it was actually the brahmins <laughs> who uh, whereas nalanda was not a seat of only buddhist learning but sanskrit uh, scholarship why would a brahmin go and demolish and two brahmin bhikshus went with uh, a lamb that some, cannot has been spread a lot a lot yes. so but where is the counter ab uh, twitter pe hum log thread dalenge kisi ke sath jhagda karte rahenge uska koi matlab nahi hai True. twitter kal agar twitter band ho jaye to hamare sare screenshots and threads ka ek bhais pani mein <laughs> to the only thing is you need to have a book you need Correct. to as a writer as writers we would लव टू बिलीव कि हमारे मरने के बाद भी हमारे किताबें जिंदा रहेंगी आई थिंक इन दिस कंटेक्स इज अ ग्रेट बुक हाउ द ब्राह्मण्स वन बाय आई बिलीव इट्स बाय जॉन ब्रॉकिंगटन एंड ही इन दैट बुक ही सेज दैट विदाउट रेजिंग इवन अ स्वर्ड हाउ द ब्राह्मण फिलोसफी वन अगेंस्ट बुद्धिज्म इट्स अ ग्रेट बाय अ संस्कृतिस्ट हु राइट्स दिस एंड ही मेंशंस मेनी इवेंट्स इवन द मैसेकर ऑफ ब्राह्मण्स बाय अलेक्जेंडर एंड सो ऑन तो ये भी अच्छा एक एक पुस्तक है बहुत अच्छा आपने इन सब विषयों पे बात की नाउ फाइव क्विक क्वेश्चन आई यू रेडी करण जौहर स्टाइल ओके नमा बेंगलुरु और अमची मुंबई अरे बाप रे आप मरवाएंगे हम <laughs> ना उधर का रहेंगे ना इधर के रहेंगे बोथ नमा बेंगलुरु एज इट इज माय होम टाउन वेर आई ग्रू अप एंड वॉज बॉर्न amchi mumbai because this is where i did my mba in sp jain and being half a maharashtrian uh, mumbai maharashtra is so close to heart so, <laughs> jai maharashtra jai maharashtra <laughs> okay jai shivaji jai bhavani okay. <laughs> i added more to it <laughs> filter coffee or tea filter coffee any day you had tea just now <laughs> <laughs> that only it's made well <laughs> thank you for the compliment <laughs> i'll take it uh next 
हम सद्वनी और आभेरी ओ हम सद्वनी एंड वाई आई थिंक इट्स राग ऑफ जॉय एंड इट इज कॉमन टू बोथ स्टाइल्स यू हैव बोथ हिंदुस्तानी एंड कर्नाटिक म्यूजिशन सिंग दैट एंड एंड द फेमस वातापी गणपतिम भजे वाराणास्यम वर प्रदम श्री यस वंडरफुल वंडरफुल कुर्ता पजामा और धोती अनुत्तरी कुर्ता पजामा आई बी ट्रू टू फैब इंडिया और राइट फाइनली द लास्ट क्वेश्चन गिव इन अ चॉइस टू राइट अ बुक ऑन हिस्ट्री म्यूजिक और डेटा एनालिटिक्स हो बिकॉज इन योर कॉपरेट वर्ल्ड <laughs> the last is a no brainer <laughs> that is not happening music i think i did two books or uh, actually four books now gohar jahan then i did one on veena uh, maestro dr s balachander who was my guru dr jayanti kumresh's guru so that over women of the records over my thesis also got converted into a book uh, published in london um, so that route by routledge so four books on music but now the larger you know history uh, i think that is more important Uh, it's a national imperative now uh, there is a larger purpose for it and not just personal need or personal i think it's a uh, i feel the burden very strongly that uh, you know this needs to be done at a quick pace and that is why this foundation to because i think i'm somewhere deeply aware of my mortality and my own limitations ki ek kitab likhne mein mujhe 4 5 saal lagenge to kitne saal aur jayenge kitne aur kitabe aayengi so the need is for several more people to come and write uh, more and more scholarship to be produced to history any day kurban neve hakarmani jiji vishet chhatagum sama so hamari ichcha hai aap शतायु हों आप सौवर जिये आप ऐसी ही अनेक महत्वपूर्ण पुस्तकों का लेखन करते रहें और साथ ही समय निकालकर संगीत के क्षेत्र में और अन्य अन्य क्षेत्रों में जहां आप को प्रसिद्धि प्राप्त है उनमें भी उत्तर उत्तर कार्य करते रहें इस आशा और इस प्रार्थना के साथ आज के सत्र को विराम देते हैं थैंक यू विक्रम संपत जी फॉर मेकिंग ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बेंगलुरु टू आर स्टूडियो टूडे एंड वी विल सी यू वंस अगेन ऑन सम ऑफ द टॉपिक very uh, all all the best wishes for your book thank you waiting for shiva thank and, you and uh, we hope to see you again thank you nitya ji great pleasure <laughs> namo